The NX Mini is Samsung's way of saying that you don't always need a bulky DSLR to take great photos and they'll be right. The camera looks quite beautiful, it's modern and simple. Just like with the Note 3 and the Note 4, the NX Mini has a leather texture which is basically plastic but with brushed aluminium atop. The NX Mini is one of the lightest cameras with interchangeable lens. It's, it's very portable and it can really take some great shots. Uh, it's definitely something NX Mini is attempting to deliver. It just weighs 158 grams and to give you a sense, uh, that's almost the same weight as the Galaxy Note 4. The lens is quite solid and allows for manual zooming. The zoom is quite effective and does not result in any loss of quality. It's optical zoom so you can expect some really clean zoomed up shots. And you can zoom in and out just as you would do in a regular DSLR camera. Now of course it's because of the uh, lens that it makes uh, you know the front quite heavy and uh, but that's okay it's a compromise you got to make to have great shots. There's also a separate flash adapter that you can connect on top of the camera and lock it up. The integrated flash is quite good on its own but with the use of the flash adapter you may just end up getting that glaring white look. The uh, leather finish is amazing. I really like the way it reflects light, uh, really rich and kind of classy, I would say. The NX Mini comes with a mini HDMI port so you can connect it to a television. It's got a USB port to charge it up. A micro SD card comes free with it for 16 gigabytes. And of course, you've got a battery which can take up to 530 shots, I think, at once, according to Samsung. Now, if you look at the dial and the buttons, very similar to what you see uh, in DSLR cameras as well. So let's power this on. And you've got a 3-inch LCD display, which is pretty good. Um, you know, it's got a very good picture quality. Um, real-time uh, presentation so basically you know you can see real-time stuff but it does get difficult uh, to view the screen under direct sunlight um, so as you can see the screen is pretty clear uh, it comes with a tilt screen so you know you can pretty much take selfies and uh, this tilt screen can also be used to power up the camera so let's let's shut it off you know just to give you a demonstration and uh, uh, what I'm gonna do is just basically uh, you know lift up the screen uh, the tilt screen and I'll just face it towards myself and there you go it just powers on brilliant stuff now we all know that taking selfies is the new thing today um, so there's something called as wink shot and a smile shot in the NX mini so when I wink uh, I basically take two seconds the camera takes two seconds and automatically takes your picture so it detects the wink and takes a photo now that's pretty cool and of course I can just smile it detects a smile and takes a picture again I'm sad no I'm smiling, takes a picture. So I think it's pretty easy uh, uh, taking selfies. You don't have to push the button all the time. One of the best things about the NX Mini camera is its capability to share photos across devices and platforms. So there is, uh, you know, you, there are a couple of ways that you can share photos. You can pair it with your phone. Your phone, your smartphone must have the Samsung smart camera app installed on it. And you can just pair it with your phone. Every time you take a picture, it automatically gets transferred using Wi-Fi Direct technology uh, instantly, which is quite fast. So, you know, even if your phone takes photographs worth 8 MB or, um, or 4 MB or, or 10 MB, it immediately transfer to, transfers to your phone. And as you can see, I took a picture and it started sending to my device kept on my right. Um, and there you go, it's done. It's around 8 MB, but it just transferred in a jiffy. So that's pretty cool. Um, I, I, you know, there are a couple of other ways. Uh, let's say you took a picture uh, and you want to transfer it using NFC. So all you got to do is just tap your phone, your smartphone. Um, you know, so let's say I have these three photos selected here. Um, and all I got to do is just bump them together. Oops, sorry. Yep, that way. And that's it. The connection is established. It starts sending files. Um, the three files, I think a total of 20 MB is being transferred. Uh, and it just takes a couple of seconds, like like eight, or 8 to 10 seconds. And 20 MB worth of photographs are transferred to your smartphone instantly by just bumping with the camera. Now, let me just cycle you through the menu. The, the screen is a touch screen. So you know, you can pretty much use uh, your fingers to kind of uh, jump through the menu options, or you could use the dial on the right as well. Of course, you've got uh, HD and high quality uh, movie recording. A uh, couple of other things, you've also got, um, uh, you know, you can enable disable NFC if you wanted to, saves a little bit of battery, but nothing really uh, massive. Uh, you've got the smart mode and the auto mode. Basically, it's for amateur photographers. If you don't know how to really play with apertures and ISOs, you don't got to worry about it. You just have to, you know, uh, tap on one of those. And of course, here are the ways that you can share photographs. You know, you could email, you could uh, connect it to a phone, you could uh, you could back up so be, and put it up to the cloud. So basically, it's, it's brilliant. You don't have to keep transferring photos with a wire. So that's really it about the Samsung NX Mini. Uh, of course, there are camera samples, uh, photo, photo samples of the NX Mini coming right up 
uh, on your screen. So thank you a lot for watching, guys. I think it's a brilliant camera, good looking, portable, pocket friendly. It's really lightweight and takes really, really good shots. No kidding. So here are some samples for you. Now here are a few shots I took inside the house. Of course the lighting wasn't that great, but as you can see that the detail is really, really nice. The no it's really less noise. And I can even zoom into these photos. And for example, this one, and when I zoom into it, just look at the threads uh, that the camera has captured. And when I'm outside, as you can see, the colors and the, the clarity, the detail is just amazing. And even macro shots come out really nice. So thank you for watching guys. Do give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.